from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Travis Meyer. It has been an awesome kickoff for Oktoberfest. You can see that barely in the background behind me right now as things start to happen. And our own meteorologist, Megan Gold, she's been out there today. Hey, Megan, it looks really nice right now. What's going on? Hey, Trav. Yeah, the energy is awesome out here. Just a great fall night. And I'm embarrassed to admit it, but I have never had a brat. So I figured Oktoberfest was the perfect time uh, to get in on the food. Lots of folks walking around, uh, drinking some of the beer, enjoying the energy and the music. Tonight is corporate night, so it is not open to the public. But Oktoberfest will open to the public tomorrow from 4 to 11 p.m. And then Friday and Saturday from 11 p.m., from 11 a.m. until 1 a.m. So general admission is going to be $15. And just a reminder, there is no public parking. So make arrangements. There is information on our website about shuttle service. And if you are one of the folks that is super lucky to be out here this evening or just out and about around the Tulsa area, temperatures will be falling into the 80s or into the 70s uh, by about 8 o'clock with light winds, clear skies. Once again, just a great night to be out and about. And it sounds like we do have great weather on the way for the rest of our Oktoberfest. Trav, I know you have the details on that. Uh, that we do, and thanks so much for being out there. And again, looks like a great time. And just as Megan was saying, 70s now. We'll be dropping slowly. We'll be in the 60s a little bit later on as we have light winds. Wanted to share this with you as well for tomorrow when the rest of us get the opportunity to go out there. Again, from the afternoon time period into the evening, it'll be in the 60s after being 70s in the afternoon. And then as we look on into Friday, Friday again, Again, has a period where you can get in free. Now, Megan was mentioning $15 for a ticket to go in, but there is a period during the morning hours till about 4 o'clock in the afternoon when it is free. And then after that, it goes back to charging. And notice temperatures are dropping off in the evening into the 60s, so it will be cool. Saturday looks really, really good. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds across the area, mainly high clouds, and temperatures will be generally in the 70s. The winds will not be a major player. That's good news. And it ends at about 6 p.m. on Sunday, and temperatures will make it up to around 80 in the afternoon. Sunscreen wouldn't be too bad. Here's a live look right now from out of Bartlesville as the sun is setting and it's just kind of nice. This is the boundary that's been coming through. Just enough to have some clouds. There could be a passing sprinkle here in Bartlesville. Here in Tulsa, we're starting to see the sun itself. We had a few clouds, although cumulus clouds that are hanging around there. But again, the days are getting shorter. I hate to say that. A lot of people don't like me saying that. 77 degrees right now. South wind at 9, 39% humidity. Dew points at 50, so the air is dry. Temperatures are generally falling down in the 70s. We're still hanging on to 80 down around the Sepulpa area. But don't worry. Still have good weather across much of the area. We were in the 80s out in the western part of the state. That has dropped off. And in the morning, it's going to be chilly. We'll be in the upper 40s. And by the time we get into our Thursday afternoon, our temperatures will be in the 70s. Just a little bit cooler than today. We'll have a north-northwest wind blowing 10, 15 miles per hour. A few gusts could get around 20. I know so many people are just waiting and hoping and praying that we get some rain up around Caney, Kansas, and from Bartlesville to the north because there's still nothing going on Friday. It's just gorgeous weather, upper 70s, low 80s, nearing 90 out in western Oklahoma. And then on Saturday, same story, just some high clouds filtering across the area. Temperatures will be in the upper 70s to low 80s here in eastern Oklahoma. Out to the west will be generally mid to upper 80s. So again, we're just wanting to get some rain, but maybe not during Oktoberfest. Right now, folks up to the north of us, north of Bartlesville, will take any raindrop they can find because things are getting desperate. Temperatures in the 70s on Sunday with a southeast breeze to near 80 degrees. So again, it just has been day after day of really nice weather. So there's a lot of weekend events going on. These are some of the events at Catoosa, for example, Route 66 Flywheel and Gas Engine Tractor Show. Muskogee has the Okie Jeep Jam and the Tulsa Botanic Garden. The Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Bash. That's going on on Saturday. Gore has activity. Gathering Place has Imagination Celebration. And Okmulgee has Rocky Ridge Rendezvous. Also, don't forget as well, we do have a lot of more weekend events with Boo Fest in Bartlesville, J Fest, J Fall Fest, the Balloon Fest down in Poto, War Eagle. Uh, fair going on in Hinesville, Arkansas, and Northwest Arkansas. It's huge. And so is the Wilburton uh, Robbers Cave Fall Festival. Unbelievable. Welch, you're in there too. Harvest days. Nothing should stop you from being able to go out there and enjoy the great things. Now, we all have the jet stream to thank for it because by the time we get Tuesday and Wednesday next week, rain and thunderstorms are going to try to start to make a move into our area. So it'll be interesting if that happens. Our best chances of rain will hold off 
until we get into late Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday as the storm system comes in. Guys, hopefully up to the north, your turn's coming. Get an inch or two of rain, that would be a beginning. Temperatures are interesting because they'll be warm, and then it's, uh, there's one, uh, one of our models says really cold, just prepping you for that possibility of maybe a freeze coming up at that time. Our forecast looks like this, just nice weather, 67 degrees at nine o'clock again outlying areas will be a little bit cooler by the time we get in the morning temperatures will be in the upper 40s and kind of quiet a little chilly and uh, just enough of a cold start the jackets probably would be required a lot of kids are out of school obviously tomorrow in a beautiful day don't forget sunscreen though if you're going to be out and about or have the kids out a lot over the next couple of days there's more clouds on saturday which helps but doesn't totally stop it and then as you can see as well temperatures stay very nice with a shower and thunderstorm chances starting on tuesday coming into wednesday and then also into Thursday and then by Friday there's a big old cold front that could be the beginning of really cold air. In the meantime, that is your nine-day planner. We'll be right back with sports.